Galaxy Resources announced that it is partnering with Columbia University to advance rare earth recovery technology. Danny George is Chief Operating Officer. Danny, welcome to mining.com.au. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for having me. Tell us, what did you announce? So this research program is all about developing cleaner, smarter ways to process rare earths right here in the U.S. Um, to that effect, we have partnered with Columbia University in New York to develop uh, solutions with AI-driven ore characterization and CO2-assisted electrochemical technologies. And this is to make ore extraction more efficient and sustainable. So for us, the, the goal is simple. Um, number one, understand the ore better, extract the metals more efficiently, and then map out a clear, low-impact pathway to a pilot plant in the U.S. So basically, it's all about creating practical, low-impact solutions that support local supply chains for both defense and advanced manufacturing. Danny, could you expand on that? What is going to be uh, the impact uh, on the company and uh, also more largely uh, the advancement of uh, the sector in the U.S.? So this partnership uh, with Columbia will give us access to some of the most advanced research capabilities in the U.S. Uh, this is a major step forward for the company and builds directly on the momentum of our Deep Solve Antimony program with Rice University in Houston. And all of this matters because rare earths and critical metals are essential for defense, clean energy, and advanced manufacturing. And most processing today occurs outside the U.S. So in short, the program is about securing supply chains, supporting American manufacturing, and doing it in a cleaner and smarter way. What's going to be the scope of the program? Um, so the scope of the program is to develop a full technology platform for rare earths and critical metal processing in the U.S. Uh, and it consists of three main areas. The first being the detailed characterization of the ores to understand their composition and structure. The second is developing electrochemical assisted extraction methods for efficient recovery. And then finally, undertaking a techno-economic and life cycle analysis to validate and enable practical and low impact pathways to advancing to the piloting stage in the US. Um, with Columbia, we will also evaluate the use of artificial intelligence for ore mapping and exploring new mine of the future approaches like uh, autonomous and selective mining technologies. So, so overall, it basically covers everything from understanding the ore to developing the processing technology and then finally planning how it will be deployed in a sustainable and practical way. Let's step back. Uh, rare earths have been in the news. How does this align with uh, U.S. government priorities, Danny? So this program aligns very closely with U.S. government priorities because it focuses on developing domestic sustainable processing technologies for critical minerals, something that the Department of Energy, the Department of War, and other U.S. agencies are currently actively funding. Uh, the partnership therefore broadens our U.S. technology platform across two critical minerals, the first being antimony through our Deep Solve, Deep Eutectic Solvent program with Rice University in Houston, and rare earth elements through this new collaboration with Columbia. So this dual, dual track strategy sort of positions us as one of the very few Australian listed companies that are actively developing both US-based and university-backed processing technologies for both defense and clean tech supply chains. Danny? Thanks for speaking with mining.com.au. Thank you, Michael. Uh, we look forward to updating the market again as this program advances. Thank you.